Hi there all my crafty friends. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to decoupage a napkin with water. It's the easiest way ever and dries with absolutely zero wrinkles. Today water is going to be your best friend. Gather some supplies and follow along. If you're ready, let's make a mess. I'm using an 8 inch wooden circle today for my demonstration. Before I add any paint, I'm going to give it a quick sanding to make sure it's nice and smooth. Make sure you wipe off the dust. I'm painting the background white because the background on my napkin is also white. When decoupaging, you'll need to paint your background a light color such as white or cream. Dark colors will show through your napkin and muddy up your image. Even if you use a pale pink, your image will have a pink tone to it. Make sure to keep that in mind when you're planning out your project. Where are you watching from? Let me know in the comments. It's fun to see what cities and countries you are all watching from. I'm filming from Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States. I gave it two coats of paint to make sure the wood tone was covered. After the paint dried, I gave it a very light sanding with a fine grit sandpaper to make sure it was smooth. I got this adorable Christmas kitten napkin at decoupagenapkins.com and I'm going to tell you all about them in just a minute. I'm cutting out one of the four images and I'm separating the napkin layers. We're only going to use the first layer with the print on it. This napkin is only two layers, but some have three layers. Make sure you remove all layers. I cut away some of the excess background and I'll use a water brush to remove as much of the white background as I can. The least of excess napkin, the better. You're always better to tear instead of cutting with scissors. A torn edge is much easier to blend. Decoupagenapkins.com has such a great selection of rice papers as well as napkins that you can purchase one at a time. Rub on transfers, molds, modeling clay, stencils, stamps, scrapbook paper, and much more. Over 5,600 products. They offer a 5% discount on orders over $50, 5% and free shipping on orders over $75, and 10% discount plus free shipping on orders over $125. They are wonderful to work with and send out their orders fast. Make sure you check them out. I'll leave you a link in my description box below. Once you're on their website, scroll to the very bottom of the page. If you subscribe to their newsletter by entering your email address, you'll receive an emailed code for 10% off your next order. I'm cutting a Ziploc bag apart so that I have one layer. I'm taking the cutout kitten image and putting it down on the piece of plastic face side down. I'm squirting it with water and making sure all parts of the napkin are wet. Don't be afraid to saturate the napkin. The water makes the napkin expand, so you're going to see a bunch of large wrinkles. Very gently, by the very edge of the napkin, move it around so that the large wrinkles flatten out. Don't worry about any little ones right now. If you're enjoying and finding some value in this video, please hit that like button for me. Doing so helps my channel to grow and sends this video to more people out there. That way I can continue to bring you awesome tutorials. Thanks for doing that. I'm coating the painted plaque with some Mod Podge. You can use any decoupage glue of your choice. Actually, decoupagenapkins.com has some really nice decoupage gel by Redesign that I'm anxious to try. If any of you have tried it or plan on trying it, let me know, I'd love to hear from you. I'm going to include the link for that in my description box along with all my other supply links, just in case you want to try it. I'm turning the plastic with a napkin on it upside down. The napkin should now be behind the plastic. Since the plastic is clear, it's really easy to see where you want to place your image. Once I have my placement, I'll lower the plastic onto the plaque. 
I'm leaving the plastic in place and gently rubbing it from the center out all over to push out any wrinkles and air bubbles. Once it's laying nice and flat, you can lift up the plastic. You shouldn't have any wrinkles or bubbles. If you do see one, take a clean corner of the plastic, lay it down, and rub out the wrinkle very carefully. But do not use your fingers without the plastic. You don't want to take a chance of tearing your napkin. I'm using my brush that still has a little Mod Podge on it and going around just the edges of the napkin very carefully, smoothing down all the outside edges so they lay down flat. This is a demonstration video and not project, but I'm going to turn this plaque into a Christmas project and get it finished up in another video. You'll want to subscribe so you don't miss it. Now I'll let that dry for an hour or so. Now I'm going to show you what to do when your image is large and will hang over the edge of your base. I'm going to do all the exact same steps as I did with the first one, except I'll leave that little bit hanging over and I'll let it dry for an hour or so. Almost everything I'm using in this project can be purchased from decoupagenapkins.com I'm going to leave you links in my description box below. When the napkin dries, it shrinks back to its original size, which will eliminate any tiny wrinkles you may have seen. Now that it's dry, I'm going to sand around the edges and all the excess napkin will be sheared off perfectly. Both of these projects have absolutely no wrinkles. Make sure to use a spray sealer. Using Mod Podge or a brush-on water-based sealer will re-wet your napkin, causing wrinkles and bubbles. I put together a playlist of some other tutorials you may enjoy. Click the picture on the right to be taken directly to that playlist. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking my picture in the top right corner so you don't miss any future videos.